Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about treating low blood sugars. So what's so special about treating our low blood sugar levels after all? Doctors tell us if we have a low blood sugar level, we need to take 16 grams of fast acting carbohydrates, wait 15 minutes, check again our blood sugar level. If the ranges are still low, take another 16 grams of carbohydrates, wait again another 15 minutes and check our blood sugar levels and keep doing this until our blood sugar levels are back to normality. In reality, actually, things are not that easy as it sounds. So first I'm going to speak about how I'm treating my low blood sugars. First of all, what I use to treat my low blood sugars. So I have two things. First uh, are the glucotabs, which I'm going to show you right here. Most of you probably know that. I use this, I've been using gel as well, but only when I go swimming. And uh, other than that, I'm using traditional sweets. Yeah, which I shouldn't, but sometimes I do it. Before going further in treating my low blood sugars, I need to know the form of my low blood sugar. I need to identify why I am low after all. What happened? What went wrong? It was a, because of a wrongly dosed uh, meal. Um, it was because of uh, an exercising uh, episode, which was uh, more strenuous than I thought of. It is just because uh, my basal insulin, uh, am I just before my next meal and my blood sugar is a little bit lower? So this, these are the questions I'm, I'm asking myself every time. Uh, this is help, helping me a lot to understand how much uh, abrupt is the drop rate into my, my, my low blood sugar. For those of you which are having continuous glucose meters, Dexcom or Libre, this may be a little bit easier because you see the trend going up or off, but even though it's good to know why, it's good to understand why, this is this help, helps me so much. Uh, let me give you an example. Let's say I'm just after lunch. I terribly miscalculated my, my carbs. Or I didn't eat as much as I planned to eat for some reason. And uh, I walk away after lunch. I start my busy day at work. And then I start to feel low. I check my blood sugar and I see I am 3.6 and I th straight away I realize I was planning to eat a cookie or something really sweet, a dessert, which I didn't do it and I forgot about it and I realized how much insulin I, I take into account for that extra carbs which I didn't take and uh, being 3.6, I realized the drop is gonna be quite drastically and I need to treat very, very, very quickly this low and with a large amount of carbs. This is as opposite to, let's say, I'm just before meal, just before lunchtime. Last time I had a meal, it was five hours ago. I, I feel a little bit low, I take my blood sugar and I'm 3.8. This is uh, usually a quite mild ca case of low blood sugar and I can easily treat it with a little bit of carbs. About the next point, which is very important, I found it really helpful. It's very important to know how our body reacts on a normal uh, basis to the carbohydrates. So what I mean by that is um, when I don't have any, when I don't have any fast acting insulin in my bloodstream, uh, I am, I, I only have the basal insulin and I know the level of basal insulin is spot on. I, I, 
don't need to deal with that. So we, we guess, we, we suppose the pace of insulin is spot on, everything goes fine. I had my breakfast seven in the morning, now it's two in the afternoon. And I'm going to check my blood sugar just before that and see. Let's say I check my blood sugar now, it's 5.0. I take two glucose tabs, uh, two of this. I wait 30 minutes and I check again my blood sugar. And then I would know what glucotabs are doing, two glucotabs are doing to my body on a, uh, in a normal day without any other influence like exercising and fast acting insulin. This is really, really helpful. Uh, now knowing this, how many, what two glucose, what two tablets of glucose do to my body and uh, knowing how Oh, abrupt is uh, is my uh, low blood sugar. I is is putting me in a really good position. So let's let's go back to the previous example when I I, uh, I over treated uh, my lunch. I forgot about some uh, extra carbs I was planning to have, and uh, because uh, that because of this I end up in a really bad situation, I am 3.6 low, I feel a little bit already shaking and I need to do something about it. In this case, I would probably need, let's say if two glucose, two tablets of glucose spikes me uh, one point of, uh, in the glucose range, which is 18, depends which measurement units you need to use. In this case, because the, the I'm already low 3.6 and uh, I'm dropping so quickly I would probably easily take four or six tablets so I would probably take six tablets and wait for 30 minutes then I will check my blood sugar and see where I am if I need extra I'm gonna take again another two or another one or another three depends how, how I'm feeling so you, you understand what I mean and why it's so important because if you follow the, the, what doctors tell us, which is obviously easy, but if you are very, very little low, like 3.8, you haven't had a meal in hours, you don't have any fast acting insulin in your body, you don't need to take four units. Because if you do that, you probably will spike yourself up to six. But if you only, you, you only want to achieve 4.5, five levels, which are great for us and possible. So probably you take one tablet of insulin. Depends, again, how fast your blood sugar is spiking for two tablets and how much. This is what I do and this is, I find it really helpful and helps me to keep a steady and not very spiky recovery after a low. Now let's talk about more. Let's talk more about normal sweats. I, I, as a diabetic, I, I restrict myself from sweets. Uh, so I do eat some of them, but not. Uh, I do, I never eat too many of them at once. So I really like sometimes um, when I have some low blood sugars to indulge myself and uh, try some things which I normally don't. Uh, I'm guessing some of you are doing the same, but what I found uh, out about this is uh, most of the time, because when I have low blood sugars, uh, I feel I crave food and I, I like to eat, I want to eat, and on top of that, sweets, I like the sweets as well, uh, I tend to overeat. So I eat more than I, su I, sh I should have, uh, and um, that's one point which uh, doesn't help me at all and another one is um, what I eat some um, the, some of the sugars are not that fast so instead of my blood sugar going really high quickly um, it doesn't go so quickly up and uh, because of that I sometimes I, I eat more of this and uh, basically 
it will come up but it's gonna be another wave later like two three hours later it's gonna really spike up to the roof and um, it's it's very hard to counter that I remember sometimes when I did that uh, and I realized I've eaten too much as soon as my blood sugar starts to go up I take another shot of insulin like two units of insulin 1.5 units of insulin uh, just to to counter that spike but overall I'm trying to stay away of this because it's on the long run it's not good for the blood sugar levels it's gonna give me a trend with uh, loads of ups and downs which we, and we don't want to do this I don't want to do this but every now and then I'm doing it just to indulge myself um, yeah but it's something I'm doing and I do but not too often and I don't encourage you doing as well too often of course you can you can find some sweets which you like and you can do the same thing I, I've, I've told you earlier about uh, glucotabs so when you don't have any fast acting insulin in your bloodstream and you haven't done any exercising for one a day or two you just uh, test that food and see how it goes but with the food with the sweets you need to be careful and just not testing first 30 minutes or 45 minutes you need to test yourself across a couple hours or sometimes even longer because you can eat now you have a little bit of a spike in 20 30 minutes and then you have another wave of a spike two hours later because uh, yeah, you don't know the food you don't know how it's been cooked you don't know what else is inside it and it's quite difficult uh, I hope you enjoy this movie guys uh, if you want me to talk about other things in the other videos please uh, leave some comments below give me some suggestions uh, if you like this video please give me a like and why not maybe you subscribe to the channel and uh, see you next time thank you